mighty father, glorious God, eternal rock of ages, the prince of peace, the king of kings, the lord of lords. Father, we worship you. We bow before your throne. We exalt your holy name. Accept our thanks now and forevermore in the name of Jesus. I want you to lift up your voice and appreciate God for his mercy, for his grace, for his love, for everything that he has done for you, for what he's doing, for what he's still going to do. Father, we appreciate you. We worship, we bless, and we magnify your name. Accept our thanks, Lord, now and forevermore in the name of Jesus. We are grateful for the gift of life. Ramasi Kiribo, we are grateful, Lord God, for the move of your power. We are grateful, Lord, for your mercy. We are grateful for cleansing us from all unrighteousness with the blood of your son, Jesus Christ. We are grateful, O Lord God, for making ways for us where there seems to be no way. Lord, in all situations, we return all glory back to your holy name. Accept Accept our thanks now and forevermore in the name of Jesus. Merciful God, we come before your throne that we know we have sinned against thee. We know, O oh Lord God, that we are clothed, O oh Lord, with filthy garment. Let your mercy, O oh Lord, speak for us tonight in the name of Jesus. By your mercy, remove every filthy garment from our lives in the name of Jesus. By your mercy, O oh Lord God, pour our body, soul, and spirit with your fire in the name of Jesus. By your mercy, O oh God, create in us the spirit to sin no more. Give us a new heart in Christ Jesus in the name of Jesus by your mercy O Lord separate us O Lord from the spirit of sexual immorality in the name of Jesus by your mercy O Lord make us vessels unto honor fit for your use all the days of our lives in the name of Jesus that they will decree by the power of the Holy Ghost that wherever the enemies are whatever their names may be whatever plans they are planning right now O God arise disappoint them in the name of Jesus the Bible says it disappointed the devices of the crafty, so that their ends cannot perform their enterprise. Father, tonight, O oh Lord, disappoint the devices of the wicked, disappoint their altars, disappoint their weapons, disappoint their associations in the name of Jesus. Disappoint them, O oh Lord, disappoint them, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Do not let the rod of the wicked to rest upon us in the name of Jesus. Do not let the weapons of darkness to prevail over us. Do not let the hands of the wicked, O oh Lord, to prevail over us in the name of Jesus. Every secret plot, every secret imaginations, every secret agenda, every secret battle, so God, organized by the wickedness of this world against us, shall not prosper against us in the name of Jesus. Shall not prosper against us in the name of Jesus. Shall not prosper against us in the name of Jesus. God of Elijah arise. Fight our battles for us. God of Elijah arise. Deliver us, O God, from arrows of shame and disgrace in the name of Jesus. God of Elijah arise. Set our souls free from the captivities of evil thought, evil imaginations in the name of Jesus. God of Elijah arise and set us free from every altar erected to waste our lives in the mighty name of Jesus to you be the glory to you be the honor we cover ourselves we cover this platform we cover this church we cover every family here tonight our children our husbands our wives with the blood of Jesus and with the fire of the Holy Ghost thank you blessed father thank you mighty savior lord my life I lay at your feet O God forgive me of all my sins wash me clean from all iniquities and create in me lord the spirit of sin no more lay your might and power upon me and deliver me O lord from the power of flesh in the name of Jesus. By your name call ye over tonight. Speak your word and let souls be saved. Speak your word and let those in bondage and captivities, oh God, be set free in the name of Jesus. We cover this service with the blood of Jesus. We cover every family here tonight with the blood of Jesus and with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Father, as your word is going forth, let your word, oh God, bring forth to revival. Let your word, oh God, bring forth testimonies. Let your word, oh Lord, bring forth peace, joy, laughter, and everlasting happiness in the mighty name of Jesus. To you be the glory. To you be the honor. In Jesus' most beautiful and wonderful name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name, I welcome you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. To our 21-day special program titled, I Will Build My Church. I will build my church. God is the builder of the church. And whosoever builded the church is the owner of the church. The church is not the entity of a man, but the body of Christ. The church is the church of God. And tonight we are looking at day 15. And to the glory of God, the Lord has given us the grace to look into what is titled, Sexual Immorality Shall Not Capture the Church. Sexual Immorality Shall Not Capture the Church. I want you to quickly open your Bible with me. Let's open our Bible together to 1 Corinthians chapter 6. 
1 Corinthians chapter 6, and let's read together from verse 18 through to 20. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 from verse 18 to 20. The Bible says, Flee fornication. Flee fornication. Every sin that a man doeth is without the body. But he that committed fornication sinned against his own body. So if we commit fornication even in the church, we are sinning against the church. We are sinning against our own bodies. What know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? For ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. May the Lord God Almighty bless the reading of his word in the name of Jesus. Also, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, from verse 9 to 11. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, from verse 9 to 11. The Bible says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revelers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you, but ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of God. Praise the Lord. Beloved, since our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, therefore, we must flee from every form of sexual sin that will drive away the Holy Spirit. Anytime sexual sin is committed, it weakens a man's spiritual strength. Anytime a church goes into promoting sexual sin, it weakens the power of the church. And I pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, every grip of the sin of fornication shall be broken tonight in the name of Jesus. Shall be broken tonight in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray tonight, beloved, for yourself and for the church, that anything within and inside me and of the church that will drive away the Holy Spirit shall die. Command those things to die. Whatever is in you, whatever is in the church that will drive away the Holy Spirit, command those things to die. Command those things to die. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are praying. Let's go back to 1 Corinthians 6, 18 to 20. Flee fornication. The church must flee fornication. The church must flee from every appearances of fornication. The church must flee from anything that is promoting sexual immorality. Why? Because every act of sexual sin will make the Holy Spirit not to dwell in that environment or in the body of Christ. Whenever a man enters into the scene of fornication, the man is sinning against his own body, which is the temple of the Holy Ghost. And whenever we pollute our bodies, we drive away the Holy Spirit. Whenever we pollute the church of God with sin, with sexual sin, with loss, with every form of immoralities, we drive away the Holy Spirit. He tells you and I, beloved, why the church of this age is becoming weaker and weaker spiritually. Why? Because we are promoting sexual sin. We are promoting fornication. We are promoting adultery. We are promoting all kinds of sexual abominable things all in the name of Oh, we want everyone to come. I pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Whatever we are doing as a church, whatever we are doing as individuals, every form of sexual abominables that we are committing, that are driving the Holy Spirit away, the Lord God Almighty will deliver us. The Lord God Almighty will deliver us. God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit will deliver us. In the name of Jesus, whenever we commit any sexual blunder, beloved, we are driving away the Holy Spirit. And where the Holy Spirit is not, then the spirit of the devil will take over. May the Lord God Almighty help us in the name of the... What are the signs that the Holy Spirit is inside of the church? What are the signs that the Holy Spirit is inside of your life? What are the signs that the Holy Spirit is inside of your family? Number one, in Galatians chapter 5, let's look at verse 22. 2 to 23, verses 22 and 23, the Bible says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love. So, a church with the Holy Spirit, a life with the Holy Spirit will exhibit what? Love. Joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. 
a life with the Holy Spirit is a life that will love holiness. A life with the Holy Spirit will flee from every appearance of sin. A life with the Holy Spirit will love the Bible. A life with the Holy Spirit will love to abide and dwell under the shadow of God Almighty. A life with the Holy Spirit will love to help the needy. A life with the Holy Spirit will walk away from the seat of discomfort and from the ways of sinners. A life with the Holy Spirit will always love to always be among the companies of believers. I pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. God Almighty, we pray to you tonight. Do not take your Holy Spirit from us. Do not take your Holy Spirit from the church. Do not take your Holy Spirit from us. In the name of Jesus. Beloved, when the Holy Spirit is out of a life, certain things will happen. Let's open our Bible to Galatians chapter 5 and let's read from verse 19 to 21. Galatians chapter 5 from verse 19 to 21. The Bible says, Now the works of the flesh are manifest. Which are these? The work whenever, when a life is without the Holy Spirit, what will be ruling that life will be the power of flesh. What will be ruling that life will be the power of the devil. And the Bible says, Now the works of the flesh are manifest. Which are these? Adultery. So, Adultery is a sign that there is no Holy Spirit in the life or in the body of Christ. Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envy, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like of they which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they will do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. They that practice the works of the flesh shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Who are those that have practiced the word of the flesh? Number one, they are the unbelievers. Number two, they are the unbroken Christians. Number three, they are those that are lukewarm. They are not warm. They are not cold. Number four, they are those that are in church, but God is not in their lives. They are those that are carrying the Bible, but they are not allowing the Bible to minister to them. I pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. May the works of flesh die in our lives. May the works of flesh die in the church. In the name of Jesus, the God that we serve, the God Almighty, the God that answered by fire, He has promised to build the church. He said, I will build my church and the gate of hell shall not prevail. Fornication is the gate of hell. Fornication is the gate of hell. And God is telling you and I that he will build his church and sexual immorality shall not prevail. God will build his church. Fornication will not prevail. God will build his church. Adultery will not prevail. God will build his church. All kinds of sexual immorality shall not prevail. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord God Almighty will purge his church. The Lord God Almighty will purge every soul here tonight. All of us shall be purged. All of us shall be purged. In the name of Jesus, we might be thinking within ourselves, oh, I don't sleep with people around, but you can be fornicating in your heart. You can be committing immoralities in your heart. You can be naked in another person's wife, another person's husband in your heart. They are all sin. They are all sexual immoralities. If the act of a man is not right, if the act of a man is not circumcised, then works of the flesh will start ruling that heart. I pray in the name of Jesus. May God Almighty circumcise our hearts. May God Almighty circumcise our hearts in the name of Jesus. How to conquer sexual immorality in our lives and in the church? How can we conquer sexual immoralities in our lives and the church? Number one, we must not be ministering to opposite sex alone. Don't be ministering to opposite sex alone. Number two, encourage decent dressing. The church and individuals, we must be encouraging decent dressing. Next, we must discourage sex before marriage. Next, we must promote only courtship. Next, opposite sex should not be visiting each other. They must be accompanied by a matured believer. Next, the church must cultivate the habit of preaching holiness at all times and winning of souls. Next, we must pray for the flesh to die. Mr. Flesh is a destroyer. Mr. Flesh will be crying to commit blunders, but we must be praying for flesh to die. And lastly, we must pray against the spirit of sexual perversion and immorality in the church and in our own lives. Are you here tonight? Are you struggling with the sin of sexual perversion? 
are you struggling with the sin of sexual immorality? For as long as a life remained in committing sin of sexual immorality, that life will be weakening his own body and driving away the Holy Spirit. Right there where you are. Tomorrow may be too late. Jesus is here tonight. He is here to purge the church. He is here to purge his temple. For our body, your body, my body, is the temple of the Holy Spirit, which is living in us. So if our bodies, if your body and my body, if they are the temple of the Holy Spirit, then we must keep the body holy at all times. Are you here tonight? It's like the devil is now in control of your life. Tonight is the night of your freedom. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Jesus will set you and I free from the grip of sexual sin. Jesus will deliver the church from the grip of sexual sin. Right the way you are. If you want to have dominion, if you want to conquer, and if you want to be set free from this sin, why all lies close and all is bow? Beloved, flesh cannot overcome flesh. It is the Spirit of God that can give you and I dominion over the power of flesh. It is the Spirit of God that can give us dominion over the works of flesh. It is the Spirit of the living God that can set us free from the grip and the bondage of sexual sin. Why all lies close and all is bow? I want you to say this after me. So that God can deliver you and I from this sin so that this sin of sexual perversion sexual immoralities will not be able to capture the church say this after me say lord jesus i come before thee and i confess my sins unto your holy name forgive me lord have mercy wash away all my sins and create in me a new heart fill me i pray thee with the holy ghost power and fire Come into my life today and stay forevermore. From today, I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. And I rededicate my life to you now and forevermore. So help me God. If you have prayed this prayer, then you and I are now qualified to pray prayers that we end the bondage that will set us free from the grip and the captivities of sexual perversion and will make the church to be a church of fire and power. Say, O oh Lord God, my Father, destroy and uproot the altar of iniquity in my life. O oh Lord God, our Father, destroy and uproot the altar of iniquity and sexual immoralities in our lives and in the church. O oh Lord God Almighty, destroy and uproot, destroy and uproot the altars of iniquities and sexual sin in our lives in the church. O oh Lord, destroy and uproot them, destroy and uproot them, destroy and uproot them, destroy and uproot them. In the name of Jesus, destroy and uproot the altars of sin, altars of sexual perversion, altars of sexual immoralities, destroy and uproot them. In Jesus' name. We are praying. You might be asking yourself. There are some things that I'm doing that are not sexual sin. Hear this. For as long as you watch, you are still watching pornography, you are committing sexual sin. For as long as you are still lost in your heart against the opposite sex, you are committing sexual sin. For as long as you are still masturbating, you are committing sexual sin. For as long as you are still walking in the path of nakeding yourself you are committing sexual sin pray against the sin like this say father lord help me to die to flesh daily father lord help us as a church to die to flesh daily help us oh lord as a church to die to flesh daily help us to die to flesh daily help us oh lord to die to flesh daily help us oh lord help the church to die to flesh daily help us oh lord to die to flesh daily help every life every souls every family is here help our husbands help our wives help our children oh god to die to flesh daily help us oh lord to die to flesh daily in jesus name we are praying say on holy sex shall not destroy my life on holy sex shall not capture my life shall not destroy me on holy sex shall not capture and destroy us on holy sex shall not capture the church on holy sex shall not destroy our families shall not destroy our lives shall not destroy our future in the name of jesus on godly sex shall not destroy us in jesus name we are praying oh lord god my father set me free from the grip of sexual bondage 
Set us free, Lord, from the grip of sexual bondage. Set us free, Almighty God, from the grip of sexual bondage. Set us free, Lord. Set us free, Lord, from the grip of sexual bondage. Set us free, Lord. Set us free, Lord, from the grip of sexual bondage. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Lastly, say, use me, O Lord, and the church to deliver those under bondage of sexual sin. Use us, O Lord, as vessel and as instrument to deliver those in bondage of sexual sin. Use us, O Lord, as instrument and vessels to deliver those in bondage of sexual sin. Use us, O Lord, as instrument and as your vessel, O Lord, to deliver those in bondage of sexual sin. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for the answer prayer. Daddy, we pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ that every connection with polygamy, every ancestral polygamous witchcraft, sponsoring sexual sins in our lives we command the fire of god almighty to burn them to ashes in the name of jesus every connections with polygamy every connection with pornography every connection with every spirit of lust of the flesh they are destroyed now by the power of the holy ghost holy ghost destroy them now holy ghost destroy them now holy ghost destroy them now in the mighty name of jesus father let our temple oh god let our body soul and spirit be cleansed by your fire and by your blood cleanse our temple oh god by your fire and with your blood cleanse us oh lord cleanse our body soul and spirit cleanse our marriages cleanse our children cleanse our husband cleanse every life set tonight oh god cleanse us with your blood and with your fire cleanse us oh lord with your blood and with your fire thank you blessed father thank you mighty savior in jesus most glorious beautiful excellent and wonderful name we have prayed amen 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 in jesus name if the message is a blessing to share the good news tell you all that sexual sin is a destroyer sexual sin will drive away the holy spirit sexual sin will weaken a life tell the old world that jesus is the only solution to overcome sexual sin as you spread his good in me god almighty use you to deliver those under the bondage and the captivities of sexual immoralities in the name of our lord jesus christ this is the path of righteousness church of god the church for physical and spiritual transformation. We meet every day, 5 p.m. Irish time to live five on Facebook and YouTube, Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, and Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays from 11.45 p.m. to 12.15 a.m. Sunday, the 15th of October, 2023, we shall be meeting at Monrate Community Center, Maldives Avenue, Maldives, from 1.30 p.m. to 3 p.m. Come and encounter the raw demonstration of the power of God Almighty, Come and encounter life-transforming presence of God. Come and encounter the word of God that will make your life whole again. Come and encounter the move of the power of God Almighty that we uphold all demonic wars that the enemies have built around you. As you come, may you and I and our entire families, may we never be disappointed in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Come one, come home. Invite your friends and loved ones. Jesus is waiting to change your stories. God bless you and keep shining the Lord. Let's share the grace in fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Let's share our personalized grace. Say, surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever amen seven glorious beautiful powerful and awesome hallelujah let's go hallelujah 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 may the lord god almighty baptize us afresh with holy ghost power and fire and may he give us the grace to abide in his presence all the days of our lives keep on shining go and prosper in jesus name Amen.